Hey guys, what's up? Alex is, I don't even know who he's FaceTiming, but uh... <laughs> he's been out there a while, and I've put on this outfit. Let me show you my outfit. I don't know if I'm feeling it yet. We're going to a pumpkin patch, and I want to take cute photos. I don't know. I don't know. This dress is from Forever 21. Same with this. Who are you talking to? Back in the James. I'll show you guys. We got the coffee maker Keurig thing. I ordered it online and it was way easier. This needs to go more in the corner though. Yes, that is what is happening. Got a coffee maker. This is the setup now. I don't really like that basket. It's gotta go. So we're going to a pumpkin patch and I don't really know what else. Where's Lulu? Lulu! <gasps> I see Lulu, I see your tail. He likes it under here so much. He loves under the bed. I uploaded a new video yesterday, so that's exciting. For some reason my ears feel like blocked. I feel like kind of sick, but not really. Like I feel fine, but like ears are blocked. Like the nose is kind of runny. It connects definitely because when I go like that, the ears mess up so i'm gonna chug some water i haven't shown you guys this room in a while we finally got that put up mm. why are my ears so weird i feel like i have to yawn but then my jaw has been having issues too lately like it's it hurts when i yawn like this side of my jaw it like kind of snaps into place or something, I don't know. She's upset, guys. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's dark. Yeah, it is. Keep right to march on to C823 South. What? Am I going right? Oh, yeah. I told you to keep right! Oh my gosh, she I oh, just told she's, you to keep right. By the way, if you Thank ever you get her in the car, the she's giving directions. She's the worst You were person. distracting me with the vlogging. You just make a U-turn at the slide. That's not even true. Make a U-turn at Windsor. Make a U-turn at Windsor Drive. So we made it to the pumpkin patch and we took photos. Hopefully there's some that turn out cute. And we found, we ran into viewers. So hi if you're watching this. I'm trying to find like cool, I wanted a white pumpkin, but they don't have any. But this one looks really cool. I kind of like this one. It's like blue. It's a really cool pumpkin patch. There's like rides and stuff. It's so cute. But yeah, I'm gonna find some pumpkins. We got our bluish gray pumpkin, but we're trying to find the perfect round pumpkin. It's so hard. There's never a perfect one that's perfectly round and has its stem still. <gasps> Wait, is there like baby goats over here, babe? There's animals over here. Wait, they're chickens. Oh, they're oh my god, this one is so cute. Can I take it home? It's like a cute chicken. Uh-oh, battery smashing. Uh-oh. Look at the goats. So cute. What's up, guys? Another day, and I am at a shoe right now with some great people. My boy Darren right there, old roommate, and also... Jason Heatley from Colorado, from my town. We go way back. We're making some art right now, doing some photos for our portfolio. All right guys, so here's the crew today. The reason why like, I'm doing this also guys is because I love to like expose people in the same industry. And it's so difficult because we're all trying to make it the same point, so why not share the exposure? <laughs> so Jason does photography. How long have you been doing it for? Uh, I've been doing it for about three years now. Um, once I got to Denver, things kind of picked up, and now I'm here in LA. That's where we met. I'm from Denver, as you guys know. But Jason, seriously, is one of the most like down-to-earth photographers. Super fun to work with, really easy. He doesn't ever push anything on you, which you really appreciate as a model. It's really cool, and like, his success is gonna take off, guys, once he gets bigger and bigger. So please give him a follow at... Jason Heatley, just my name. <laughs> his name will be down low, so you can go check his stuff out. Really great photographer, and thanks for you know, wanting to meet up. Yeah, of course, always. Yeah. All right, guys, we are back at it. So, you guys know Darren. Darren, really, you guys 
don't understand like I see this guy is so talented models he is doing acting and he's also guys a musician and the thing that I really appreciate about him being a musician is he's all self-taught I know it sounds like I'm interviewing him and it's not because we're really close we used to be roommates tell him how the whole music thing kind of came up like to you man I was listening to Ed Sheeran at the time it inspired me to go grab a $50 guitar and I just started teaching myself and then once I, you know, learned and got a little better, I got myself a nice guitar. When I first started singing, I was really bad. I don't think I really found my voice until I picked up the guitar and just, I kind of found my tune, you know. You tell him to spit, like he'll spit you a rhyme. Like, oh yeah, I love rapping too. I mean, it's cool because if you look at his notes too in his phone, it's insane because I know. he has so many like songs and personal personal things. And that's my favorite thing about this kind of like doing entertainment stuff. Like with YouTube, modeling, like you being a musician, you even get it more as like you're a creator. And yeah. be a critic with any a lot of the stuff, but it's a lot more fun to create things so people can be a critic for it. And sometimes being in a place like LA, you're surrounded by so many things. It's hard to get recognized and some some talent gets passed up every day, and this is a talent that shouldn't get passed up. He's gonna be big one day. I believe it 100%. And you so much. That means so much. You know, it, it takes time, but um, you just sometimes you just need a few believers, dude, and, and it, it'll happen. So, guys, this is Darren, great guy, and now we're just gonna kick it, grab lunch. I am on my way home finally. Today's been great, guys. Really, I'm just so thankful and grateful for just opportunities to get to work with creative people. A lot of these people that are in the same industry and they get a chance to you know, be featured in like a vlog or anything, I really like to do it because I'm a people person. I love people, I care for people. And that's the reason why I want them to be in these videos. I wanna make sure they're a good person, of course. And when I get that feeling and that vibe from them that they're a good person and that they're just really ultimately trying to get to the same place that all of us are trying to get to, which is you know, to a successful place. And I can't blame them for that, you know, and you can never blame anyone for that. So that's the reason why, you know, I'm kind of like I'm interviewing them and asking them, you know, questions just so you guys can get to know them. The most important things to me is the kindness, you know, the passion you show someone what you love. And then also just, just being a good person. That's just who I am also. So. Uh, just again, you don't have to, but please give them a chance and just check out their stuff. And you guys are the best ever. And you guys are like family now to me. And I feel a part of it. And all thanks to Sierra, obviously. I'm always going to say that because it's very true. All thanks to her. You guys are like the best family ever, though. Sierra and I are very grateful. Very grateful. And I say this in every video, I hope. And if I don't, I apologize because I should. But I want to thank you. I want to see how grateful I am, how much I love you guys, how much we love you guys. And most importantly, I just, just want to have good vibes, really. Guys, we are back. <laughs> but I don't think they expected you to be like a goldfish. <laughs> We're filming. And I'm a boxer right now. She looks so cute. We also need to show them this. We made it cute out here, and the rug came, and it's all cozy. We got Halloween lights, and it's cute. This She's is honestly cute. so uncomfortable. It keeps going in my eyes. She's cute. We're filming a video. <sighs> and Alex is the star of it. And yeah. Mate, come back. What? Come back. Tell me how your day was. And tell me how your day was, actually. <laughs> well, I took Louie here <laughs> to get a bath. But he keeps baiting himself. He keeps himself. baiting himself, and his eyes are already dirty, so that's really annoying. Anyway, was your day good? <clears throat> I'm gonna see her yeah. today. I woke up. It's sad because I leave tomorrow, and I won't get to see him for like well two days, and then I come to LA for the signing here, but then I leave again for like a week. We've never been apart that long. It's sad. I don't want to leave you. I missed you already. How was uh? Hey though, like, have a good day. Mm -hmm. And I like this costume, low key, wanna be it for Halloween. Cause it'll stay warm. 
Yeah, it's really warm. Like, if you live in a cold place, this is a bomb-ass costume. Mine's not. Mine's it's fleece. Mine is perfect for L.A. I mean, you could push it on, but then you just look like a old, a retired real... boxer. Yeah. But if you have your shirt off, then you look this like a This is so boxer. cute. I love it. Our real Halloween costume's better. Should we tell them what it is? It's probably no. going to be Halloween by the time this goes up. Let's tell I them. I don't think so. I think honestly, we're probably not even doing anything no. for Halloween. We probably can't even wear the costume, so we should just tell them. No, I honestly think... Nathan and Haley from Montreal. Hill. I'm cutting that. <laughs> I'm cutting that. It's film. <laughs> Anyways, we have three vlogs I'm going to edit. Katie, let's film. Alright, we're going to get back to filming. Sierra's <laughs> so goofy. <laughs> I love her. She's so cute. I wish I could show you guys what she's doing, but... Okay, we're gonna get back to it. 